Here's what's been making the business headlines in sub-Saharan Africa this week. Binance is stopping all transactions and trading in Nigeria's Naira, amid a countrywide crackdown on cryptocurrency exchanges that authorities have blamed for feeding a black market for foreign exchange. Last week, Nigerian authorities detained two Binance senior directors on undisclosed charges. Also in Nigeria, Africa's richest man, Aliko Dangote, is planning to set up a new oil trading arm to help run crude and product supply for his new mega refinery in Lagos, according to six sources familiar with the matter. The 650,000 barrel per day refinery is set to redraw global oil and fuel flows, and the trading community is closely watching the way it will operate. Dangote did not reply to several requests for comment. Australia's Invictus Energy is hopeful that it will conclude a production sharing agreement with the Zimbabwean government within weeks to develop its Kaborabasa project following years of delays, a non-executive director said on Thursday. Energy consultancy Wood Mackenzie has estimated that the project's Makuyu discovery was the second largest made in sub-Saharan Africa last year. Ethiopian Airlines has agreed to buy eight Boeing 7779 wide-body jets, with potential for 12 additional aircraft orders, the company said on Tuesday. Major airlines are flocking to fuel-efficient wide-body jets to keep operating costs down and cater to booming international travel demand. And finally, a UN official has warned that Africa will be $2.5 trillion short of the finance it needs to cope with climate change by 2030. UN Economic Commission for Africa Chief Economist Hanan Morsi told a conference in Zimbabwe's Victoria Falls that the continent attracts only 2% of global investments in clean energy, but that climate change is costing African countries 5% of GDP every year.